It's an HS-102, a two-channel oscilloscope that you can build yourself from scratch using uh, common electrical components that are uh, easy to source and inexpensive. I've chosen to go with a plus and minus 15 volt input and this has a 20 kilo ohm impedance. A lot about this project revolves on being able to fit everything inside this aluminum project box. It's 80 by 50 by 20 millimeters. Uh, can be found eBay, AliExpress, uh, roughly three bucks. The HS-10X series oscilloscope is really a two-part thing. You have the STM32F103 microcontroller and then a shield, um, a circuit board that you build that uh, piggybacks on this. So as for the STM32 microcontroller, you need to uh, flash the firmware. Go to Gadget 61 where I detail the process for that. And this is the shield that we build. There's a high-res image of this uh, circuit uh, that I host on my Google Drive, link in the uh, description below, as well as a complete parts list for this project. This 15-hole by 23-hole prototype board has been cut out of a larger piece. The whole idea behind that is to have the B and C at one end and the USB at the other end spread out exactly 80 millimeters to fit in that aluminum box. I find it uh, strangely therapeutic to position these components onto that board, uh, but then maybe that's just me. It's the same on the backside. If I find a clever way to use a component lead to construct a solder trace, I get some uh, satisfaction out of that. And then on completion, when it takes its first reading and you find out that the thing works, that's uh, pure elation right there. Here's a few tips on the PCB style uh, B and C uh, connectors that I used. There are four little pads here on the corners. I shaved them flush so that the uh, component sits uh, real tight and snug up against the uh, prototype board. You don't want these pins to protrude past the PCB board so they can be sunken in either with a pair of vice grip or a small vise. Since we're not using these threads anyways, I shave them off with a utility knife. Then we're able to get away with a 7 16 diameter hole in the project box. Would a Gadgets Playlist project be complete without a little bit of hot glue to retain everything? There was a suggestion by one of the members on the work group to make this slot wide enough to provide clearance so that the USB does not come in contact with the aluminum case. The idea is that the case can provide natural shielding against external electromagnetic interference. Just like um, any other oscilloscope, to be accurate, the uh, HS-102 needs to be calibrated. You do a zero volt calibration first uh, with the center pin to ground. Then uh, you do a calibration multiplier with a known uh, voltage. I prefer to use gadget number 42, which provides a known five volt to the uh, BNC input and do that uh, calibration multiplier uh, using that. Then you have an accurate oscilloscope. The uh, HS-102 can compete with other budget oscilloscopes as to noise. Uh, you'll do no worse than uh, 30 millivolts peak to peak. And um, here in this example, uh, you're getting six millivolts at peak to peak. That's not bad. And as a small demonstration, here is a uh, 6 volt peak to peak, 1 kilohertz uh, square wave, followed by a 10 kilohertz sine wave. It's good. I invite you to check out the official HS10X uh, series oscilloscope site, which has recently been uh, revamped to make it easier to navigate through all the different variants, all the different input voltages, number of channels that you choose. There's some work being done on uh, Bluetooth uh, capabilities. There's a Pro Series. So uh, there's a lot of information on that site. I hope you've enjoyed the build. Help out the channel. Subscribe. Hammer the like button. Catch you guys later.